grandfather was um, a leader in the, in the Jewish community. Uh, he barely spoke English, so I didn't get to hear the stories from him, because when I knew him, I didn't know any Yiddish, so it was sad that uh, we really couldn't communicate. He would just say, every so often he would be, uh, we, we, we would play without really talking, and suddenly he would go, stop the music. That was his English. <laughs> so, and we would all laugh and, and go on to play. So I loved him. He loved me. There wasn't a lot of communication there. But I heard stories about him. Um, and he actually uh, had been a disciple of the Grodziska Rebbe, which was a Hasidic dynasty, a Hasidic court in, in Poland. And he apparently was the right-hand man and perhaps even an, an heir apparent uh, to this uh, Hasidic Rebbe. Um, so it was a very, uh, very religious. Um, and he left that year while he was still in Poland. He was asked to perform what was called a Schwarze Chuppe, which is a black canopy. A wedding canopy is a Chuppe, and it's usually white and it's very joyous. This is a Schwarze Chuppe called a black canopy. Because apparently, uh, when you schreibt um, when you uh, write the um, engagement contract, in some uh, Jewish circles, it was then permissible for the man and the the engaged couple to live together even before they actually got married. Um, and then they'd still have a, a wedding and and be officially married. But the schreibt uh, neuem was almost as good as almost equivalent to apparently being married. And in this particular case of a young couple, uh, they had um, they geschlip and snoyim. They wrote the uh, engagement contract, and the young man died before they got married. But apparently, to make it really formal, I don't know if it was in Jewish eyes or in the civil um, government that the government, the Polish government, wouldn't recognize any possible if there was a baby, um, if she, if she had become pregnant in that time, uh, that. Um, it wouldn't, the child would not be considered legitimate. So the uh, Rebbe asked my grandfather, uh, Noyach, to perform a wedding ceremony between the young woman and her dead fiance. And she swore up and down that they had not had relations and that she couldn't possibly be pregnant. And my grandfather believed her and interceded on her behalf with the Rebbe, who said, no, 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 you must perform this uh, this wedding ceremony. And my grandfather obeyed the, the Rebbe, um, performed the ceremony uh, with great sorrow, and apparently then went home and cut off his payas and said his, his uh, side locks that, uh, that Hasidim wore and said, this is not, for, this is not what I, I <laughs> thought this would be about. He still was Orthodox, but he was no longer a disciple of, the, of this Rebbe.